Okay guys, so I was gifted this little tiny address book from my dear friend Cindy Utter and I actually, ha she gave me one that was even smaller too. And I decided when I got both of them I was going to turn them into mini art journals. So we're here working on the bigger one and because of the kind of paper it's made out of, the first thing I'm going to do is give it a coat of clear gesso. I'm not going to worry too much about covering up the lines and words that are already on the book uh, and trying to disguise the fact that it is an address book. I'm going to use that to add interest to the background of all the pages. And, I, and as you can see, I'm not even waiting for the gesso to dry. I'm going in with some mustard seed distress ink and adding some dots to the background. And then I'm pulling out one of my new stencil designs and that I cut on to a piece of clear plastic from a plastic um, index divider, binder index divider from the dollar store. And I resized it to be really small to fit this address, this little address book. And I'm getting out some of my distress paints in a few different colors, a pink, a green. I pull out a blue also. And I'm going to stencil this, um, it's a flower, onto the page. Now, I'm going to tell you that I didn't do the best stenciling job on here. I ended up being okay with it. But if you really want a crisp, clean, clear stencil, you want to do more pouncing or stippling up and down with the brush, and you really don't want so much paint on it. I actually had too much paint on my brush, but I that's okay. I'm going to make it work. <laughs> As you can see, you'll be able to see when I lift up the stencil, it's, it, it bled under because I had too much paint on the brush. Um, you get a clearer image if you don't have so much paint on the brush or if you use ink on a... Um, one of the little sponges, like the distress ink on one of the little um, distressing tools, that would work. I really wanted to use acrylic paint, and I added some, I did the pink first, and then I added the blue, and then I'm going back with the brown. My brown was getting kind of thick, was, wasn't working super well, but there you go. It turned out all right, and I took the leftover paint and just, yeah, put it on my canvas on my table. That's what I do. <laughs> All right, then I decide that some of the things um, on my desk were in my way, hanging above my desk. So, But I wanted to get a pen out. It was just too wet, so I had to let it dry. So I let it dry, and then I went around and did some sketchy lines with a pen and a pencil. I ended up just using a plain ballpoint pen um, that end, ends up r smearing later, you'll see right here. Um, I just did some quick scribbly journaling, um, and I like the way it looked. I like the way the finished page looks, but that particular pen, I should have used a different pen because that pen mm. does smear. So, you know, it's all a learning experience, right? So I'm taking some neon watercolor pencils. These are just Crayola, no special brand, not expensive. There are some of my favorites and going in with some yellow and orange to just brighten up the page a little bit. And then I've got some Derwent pencils um, in a pink and I have a brown and a, and a Prima pencil in green. I just grabbed pencils that were the colors I wanted to use to accent the stencil and add some sketchy lines and give some interest to the page. And then I just really decide First of all, I need to bring some of the pink back to the flower. So I grab my brush, put the stencil back on, do some more stenciling. I like the way that looks. I ended up doing it a little more, really just kind of fussing with the flower. And that, I like the way that looks. And then I decide I really need more flowers on there. So I'm going to put a couple more flowers on there, kind of trailing off the page uh, from the right down to the left. So it's a very last minute thing. So I grab some of the paint colors. You don't need too much. That one's barely on the page. And then I'm going to go right in. I'm not waiting for anything to dry. I'm doing this very quick. And I get a little bit better stenciled image this time because I'm really doing more pouncing. I still have too much paint on my brush. I'm adding the blue. I'm using the same colors I used before, the pink. 
I think it's abandoned coral and then I don't remember what color the blue and the brown were. They're all distress paint or Adirondack paints. And now I'm remembering to recap my paints. I did mess up my caps there for a second, but that's okay. Now I'm not waiting for anything to dry. I'm going right in with my Crayola pencils, um, adding some um, sketchy lines with the neon ones and then the regular, um, that's a Staedtler, just a Staedtler drawing pencil. And adding the same kind of lines to the new flowers that I did to the one that was already on there with the same pencils in the same colors. And you'll notice that I just had the flowers just overlapping just a little bit and I really like the way that looks. So I like the way that looks, but it still needs something. And so this is where I mess it up. So I add some um, Recollections crayon and then I get a baby wipe out to smear it around the edge. I want to give it a border, which is a good idea, and I like the way that looks. But then I get it near that black pen journaling, and look what happens. Yep, smear. Like, oh, crap. And then you try to fix it. It makes it worse. <laughs> right? So then I think about, well, what if I go in with some more Distress Ink? That doesn't really help. <laughs> that doesn't really help. Crap. Okay. So what can I do? What can I do? So then I get out uh, another stencil. After I try making marks, that doesn't help either. <laughs> so I get out another stencil from Tim Holtz, and it's a very small dot stencil. I don't remember what the name of it is. And I'm partially off screen, so I apologize for that. Um, I did pull out this quote from my word box, and I do want to use it. And I cut it apart, I trim it and cut it apart. Um, but I know as I'm doing that, that that's not gonna be enough for me to add to the page and or uh, detract from the fact that I smeared that ink all over the place. So here's that little small dot stencil and I'm going to get my blue paint and I am going to stencil some dots. There you go, right over it. So now it looks like it's just part, the smeared ink and the blue dots are just part of the background and it was intended that way. I add some more just messy marks, kind of go over what I was writing and just make it, you know, even more, you know, crazy. If I'm going to go with it, I might as well just go with it, right? So I add some more matte medium with my finger and put my magazine words on there. And just try not to touch that pen too much anymore. They're moving the camera around because I realize I'm out of frame. So there you go. I love the way it looks and I hope you do too. And I hope you give this a try. Don't forget to go out and have a great day, everybody, and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And um, practice doing something small. All right, that's it for now. Talk to you soon. Oh, I forgot. I went in and added some white Recollections crayon uh, to the petals to just brighten it up a little bit. I thought it was a little bit too dark and dreary. It was a very last minute thing. I forgot about that. And then I went in, because those are water soluble, I went in with a baby wipe and just blended them just a little bit and made them not so bright and um, shocking on the petals. And it that's actually a pearl crayon. So it has a, you can't really tell on camera, but it's got a little sheen to it. It brightened it up a lot. All right, talk to you later, guys later. And don't forget to have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Bye.